Hello everyone and welcome back to Elden Ring. Today we are looking at the Great Jar Challengers. The knights here. Very powerful, very difficult. You have to fight all three of them in order to win this event. But if you're like me, then you don't got time for that. Nor do you have time to get any sort of skill. And uh, you like to cheap your way through things on occasion. You might like this trick. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and start our summon. We're going to move over here. Uh, onto this little ledge, you may notice that there is just this tiniest, tiniest lip. And uh, you can step down onto it if you're very careful. Crouch. Come over here. Don't fall off. Very important, you don't fall off. <laughs> and, uh... Crouch. Crouch. Come on. Come get me. If you will just do a jumping attack, you'll just... There. Goodbye. There's one enemy down. Congratulations. That's how you do the trick. Now, this is a lot harder to do when there is a caster. If you have a caster type that's one of your summons, um, hiding over there is only going to work for you in one way, really. Many of them will kind of just get stuck on not being able to get near you, and you can just pop up and shoot arrows at them. So I recommend having a whole lot of arrows and a short bow, so you can do a jumping arrow attack. That's, uh, that's very important. Um... The short bows allow you to hit while you're in midair, and that's pretty much the only way you're going to get one of those off against that particular target. Sometimes our enemies will get stuck, hung up, and not know how to path to you. They just have to jump once to make their way over here. Once they have, you know, rinse and repeat. They try to do the whole kill you thing, they screw up, they fall off a cliff. That's all there is to it. Hey you, come over here. Come on. See? Jumping attack. And if they get hung up too, this is what you can do. You can just use those jumping attacks. Um, some of them can get lucky. They can do a downward strike that might be able to hit you with certain weapons. But one thing you really don't want to do is lock on to them. If you lock on to them, when they start to go over you or around, you'll follow them right off that cliff. And uh, that's not that's not what anybody wants. That's not how this that's not how this goes well. So. If they start making those attacks, if they make it up onto this ledge, take off any lock-ons you have. Um, if you can manage it, don't even try to block, because blocking means you have to stand upright. So, we'll see. Last one here. Come on, you. Yeah, we're going to have to get his attention. So we'll jump, shoot him with an arrow. Crouch. Jump. You're going to have to change your pathing, friend. Do something different, or you're just going to sit right there. There we go. There it is. Over here, let go of the lock-on. There's the jump attack. And congratulations. You have just won the uh, Great Jar Challenge without having to do much of anything. So, hey, if you like this content, uh, you can watch other stuff that I have on the channel. Most of it's, like, full playthroughs, but I do intend on doing more uh, of this kind of little tips and tricks for certain things, how to beat certain enemies with real cheap tricks, you know, so we can make all of the noobs out there uh, also successful at some of the more difficult or challenging games. And who knows, maybe we'll find some things that you didn't even know you could do. So, thank you very much for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.